Well, the Christmas holidays used to be a time for kids to relax, but today's children are being offered workshops on everything from how to deal with anxiety to how to make friends. Psychologist Kimberly O'Brien runs the courses and she joins us now. Hi. Morning to you, Kimberly. What, what gave you the idea for these courses? Um, it was pretty much in counselling. I was doing lots of individual counselling with kids and I found that I was sort of repeating myself that um, particularly girls aged six to nine years often had the same problems in terms of playground politics and trying to make friends at the right time with the right group. So I felt there was a need to get the girls together and to normalise the situation. But to do it in Christmas holidays, why, why yeah, is that? Yeah, it's so important just to sort of get things ready for 2009 and to clear the slate for 2008 issues. They're sort of yesterday's news, so we thought if we can skill them up, they'll be all ready for next year. And lots of times things are forgotten over the, you know, the six-week period, so it's a new start. Well, let's look at a couple of the things that the kids are particularly asking questions yeah. about. You mentioned they're young girls and, and making friends. Yeah. What are the issues there? Why is it so difficult for girls? Well, there's quite a few different things happening at the moment, I think, in, in playgrounds. Um, I find that girls can sometimes be a little bit hot and cold, so what we teach the girls is to look for um, consistent friends, so the person you sit next to all the time and is always nice and predictable, um, because sometimes girls get their feelings hurt if, um, if someone's you know, not always going to be how they think they're going to be. Um, but we offer the, the workshops for boys as well, so boys up to sort of 15, 16 sometimes still have problems with their social groups as well. Mm -hmm. And we also do divorce workshops called Doing the Splits, um, an anxiety workshop called Why Worry. So there's sort of workshops for every sort of group that we found. There was a surplus in individual counselling at, at the Quirky Kid Clinic. Is it tougher being a kid in 2008 or are we as parents sort of falling down on the job? Because we're so busy with, you know, busy lives and quite yeah. often a two-career couple. I think parents are really busy and they're just doing the best that they can do and so we thought that putting some workshops together that would sort of address the issue and keep the kids interested would be the best way to go. So maybe pr instead of doing say, you know, I don't know, netball workshops or cricket workshops in the holidays, it might be worth focusing on some of those skills that kids can use um, next year. And we thought we'd make it play based so we use different things like say this little Play-Doh thing to talk about how to squeeze into a new group and how sometimes transitions are difficult. It can sometimes feel hard going into a new area like a new school or a new class but it turns out okay in the end if you sort of push yourself through. But I mean it's, there's lots of different resources as well. This one's called, um, it's not fair so we, we tend to stick to kids books and things that kids are interested in to address the issues that face lots of children at schools. And do you see the little light bulbs go on? Do you feel like there's, there's, it's getting through? Yeah, we do. We find that they sort of swap addresses in the, in the groups and they feel normal when they leave the, the workshop. So I think it really does work and I think that they do make friendships in that setting. So it's called the best of friends and we really do try and draw out the best in everybody so that they can share that and be recognised for that rather than maybe sometimes being rejected at school when kids don't even know them. So it's really important to, um, to put them together and, and um, we're finding it's working and that's the main oh, thing. Oh good, they're putting smiles on faces which yeah. is a good thing. Yeah. Kimberly, thanks very much for that and we'll make sure that we put some details on our website if your children are interested. Over to you Joyce.